Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Coach Johnson's YouTube channel where we talk about the power raid, the air raid, all kinds of offensive football, and then also coaching in general. Uh, very excited about this video. This video is gonna kind of piggyback off of what we talked about last video where we were talking about how to install, you know, the power raid offense and just an idea of how we do things um, in the power raid. And now it's gonna kind of talk about what we would look like in the uh, during the season when you go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and how we implement our all of our package stuff, um, our quick game, our run, our drop back, our screens, and how we use that and practice that and get plenty of reps of each one of those. Um, so I'm excited about talking about that, but I also have an exciting announcement that I am now the head football coach at Green Hope High School um, in Cary, North Carolina. Very excited about it. Um, it's a 4A program. Uh, when North Carolina does a realignment, it's going to be an 8A. It's one of the biggest uh, schools in North Carolina. Very excited for me, for my family. Um, and then just we've been there, been there for three days and just unbelievable school. Love the kids. Great student athletes. We have three days of spring ball. I think they've given everything that they possibly can. Um, it's one of the smartest uh, schools and group of kids I've ever been a part of. So very excited. Uh, lots of energy. And uh, it's it's a, it's an honor to be there and to be their their head coach. Um, so with that being said, we're going to get into the video. Uh, so here we are. You can take a look on Monday. Um, this is kind of what our practice plan looks like. We're get detail where our run game, our quick, our drop back, and our screen. Um, just so that you know, if I'm hanging that sheet out, everybody knows. Hey, this is what we're doing. Um, and then there'll also be where we'll kind of, we'll script things, and that kind of, that'll be my next video of how we script it, you know, what, um, how many plays we run for each concept and, you know, what formations. And then a lot of it is off of what we saw on film, what we do well and kind of blend it all together. Um, but what we started with is the top one tells everybody what we're running on um, our pre-practice is as soon as, you know, the kids are out there, they're ready, they're warmed up, they're ready to go and they're waiting for everybody to get on the same page and wait for the whistle to be blown for practice to start. They know that they got some drills to work on. So for us, with Monday, uh, we like to start our receivers and quarterbacks in the settle noose where the kids are working on uh, their on their inside outside foot on their steps and their cuts, um, and settling down in between uh, two dummies, two trash cans, whatever you want to do. Um, and then as soon as they show the hands, the quarterback throws, and it's good for our stick, it's good for snag, it's good for you know everything we run shallow mesh. Um, and then the last one will be kind of a run at me where they have about seven or eight um, different ways that we want to, you know, incorporate catching the ball and get the, the ball in their hands. So between settle noose and run at me, we're hoping to get, you know, at least 10 to 12 uh, catches before practice even starts. Um, so it's just a way to get those receiver and quarterback going and they work together a lot uh, during our practice. And then for running backs, you know, handoffs, ball protection, cuts, um, any type of drills that you want to do that incorporate those to get their their um, their legs going and getting their mindset ready, um, especially for like inside zone. Uh, you know, it's really big on hey hitting this angle and work on balance and what work on that bend. Um, and then uh, offensive line, uh, dynamic warm up. You know, they they can do their walkthrough based on what the run concept is for that day against um, what we're going to possibly see if it's a four three or three four, just different fronts. Um, and also agility bags, getting their legs moving. Um, it's a big thing taken from the air raid. A lot of the air raid teams and spread teams, you know, now, you know, dynamic warm up isn't always the way that we'll go. You know, you can do a couple of these little drills to get the legs going and the blood flowing. Um, and, and it makes use of time so you don't have to do these drills during practice. And now all of a sudden it kind of cuts your, your time down a little bit. So when we get down here, um, the first thing that we'll do when we get into the season is um, our tempo plays on air. And what we're hoping is that we can get you know, up and down the field, um, you know, hopefully we can get 10 to 20 plays in five minutes. Um, and we try to go as fast as we can. And it's all pretty much our first 10 are scripted plays. And we'll try and go through that as fast as we can, um, where we'll be on air and make sure that everybody's, you know, doing, doing their thing right. And coaches will be watching, coaching them up. Um, so that's how we get the blood flowing and, and get the going with our tempo and make sure that we set the tone right for our offensive practice. Um, the next thing that we do uh, for our receivers, quarterbacks and running backs is we do our RPO and screen drill. Um, and so one thing that we'll do, so like with on Monday, you see that we're 
doing our, we have stick and then we have smoke and um, bubble. So we'll try, we'll get our smoke and our bubble first. And smoke is really good because it's just boom, receiver just showing their hands. Quarterback gets it out there and he's meshing with the running back. And so we'll do two reps where boom, he'll get one rep where he's um, reading the end and then the other one he'll throw it out there on the screen just fast. And it works in a communication where quarterback and running back will let each other know for that pre-snap. Um, and then they'll work that, that RPO with the running back. So they're working on their, their mesh uh, footwork and their mesh um, hand-eye coordination and all that good stuff. Um, so it's a good way of getting all three of those. So we'll go uh, with a the smoke, then we'll go with a the bubble, then we'll go with our, our stick route, um, and we'll try to get as many reps as we possibly can with those. Um, and then we'll also incorporate uh, a slant in that because anytime our guys are by themselves, which they would in this drill, they get a slant for one of the rules for our RPO. So we'll work on that. We'll try to get as many reps as we possibly can going right and left. Um, and just for everybody to, to, once again, it's that group work, uh, getting everybody as many reps as possible. And then our O-line will go with their run focus ND group. Um, so for like inside zone, they're probably gonna work on their combos to their bases and, and having their eyes on that backer and, and communicate when to go off to that backer um, and then pushing the sled to get that work on that vertical and horizontal movement and displacement of the defense. So that's what we do for the next 10 minutes. Um, is, you know, after we go with our tempo and then we'll go where we're working on our team run and our RPO. So we like to go with our, get our run game going. Um, so we'll spend 20 minutes on our run game each day. And you'll see that when you go, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, it is the same as, uh, Monday where everything, the kids will know what we're doing. They know that we start off with a little bit of indie group stuff and then it goes into team stuff. Um, and so nothing changes between that Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday schedule when it comes to what we're practicing in the drills. Um, so then we'll go, so with the team running RPO, what we're working on is uh, for that day is what do we have in our game plan for inside zone, um, our ISO, our dart and our gut, and that also is our quarterback runs uh, with those as well. What do we have planned uh, for Friday night and what's our base stuff that we wanna be good at no matter what we see. And that's what we'll do for those 10 minutes. Um, we'll make sure to communicate with the quarterback about looking for the pre-snap RPO, looking for the post-snap, what to look like, what to look at. Um, we're really big on trying to hand that ball off as much as possible right there. If they're giving us something, we're like, hey, take that as much as you want. We'll take it the first time. And it's like, all right, we're good. We, you know, we, we will work on that some more throughout the week. But all right, let's get our run and let's really focus on the offensive line, uh, scheming up the defensive front and the trenches and in the box. So after that 10 minutes, the linemen and running backs will go off for their indies. Um, and sometimes they'll, uh, for five minutes, they'll go and work on pass pro together. And, and so then running backs will get almost about 10, 15 minutes of indies each day. For receivers and quarterbacks, we're going routes on air. Um, and so one thing that I wanted to show you, so like we have a huge notes section uh, right here. And so right here for like on our uh, mesh and our shallow cross, we'll spill it out of, hey, for our 10 minutes of routes on air, what are we working on? The slot's gonna work on the shallow, the dig, um, his out route, OTB, and the wheel. So what we incorporate with our routes on air is gonna be whatever scheme, um, whatever concept we're working on. So then like when we go Monday, I would put in here what our routes on air is gonna be, and it's kind of gonna be like a stick, a speed out, our cross, our fade, um, and some hitches on the outside, and then some slot fades. So we'll try to get five for each one, um, because then you go your, go your right and your left, and, and if there's anything more, then you just continue to work it. Um, and so that's what the notes section for us is, is and where if somebody needs to work it, like when we um, go our next period is when we go seven on seven and pass pro, okay, let's have our first string running back in for seven on seven for that. And then he'll go for the second five minutes, he'll go to pass pro. Our backup and third string will go um, pass pro first and they'll come to us seven on seven. And that's where we'll put our notes or if we got guys going both ways of, hey, we need to work on so-and-so this way um, just so that we have our notes as coaches and have everything organized. And so I always have that in the front and then on the back will be, uh, where we'll have our script. And so I can easily flip, um, back and forth on that. And so that's where we have a nice note, uh, note page. So when it's printed out, there's plenty of places to take notes if we're meeting or if I'm scribbling something, uh, throughout the day, if I watch something or if I can go back and, and watch film and, um, remind myself for the next day. Uh, something that I saw. So we'll do our seven on seven. And once again, our seven on seven is going to be 
our stick, our four verts, and our Y cross. That's what we're running during that time. Uh, we'll go with what their defense has been giving us for our different coverages. Um, and we'll also, if we feel like we needed to work a little bit um, to get ready for our screen, we'll throw some screens as well. Um, and once again, pass pro for our O-line. They'll go based on any blitzes that we've seen. Um, do they uh, do different uh, techniques? Do they, you know, do they, uh, do they switch with where they're at um, pre-snap? So it's all those things for the D-line to get, or O-line to get used to uh, for pass pro. And we'll put our running back there. We'll work on our calls, you know, all that stuff um, while we're doing our seven on seven. So it's a little bit more pass focus, um, second part of the practice. Then we'll go into our last 15 minutes. It's gonna be our team pass and screen. Uh, we try to rotate as many guys as we possibly can. Um, and it's our bread and butter that we should be able to run at any moment. It's our day one type stuff and then anything that we're incorporating that week. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, so if we have stick and maybe there's a variation that we have not shown yet, all right, well, let's work on that so that we're ready. Um, I like to make sure that we have, that we're ready for everything. I do not like to call anything in the game that I don't, work on it. So that 15 minutes of our pass screen gives us a good amount. And what we do there for our quarterback is uh, making sure that understand the coverages, uh, make sure that we're ready for any type of blitzes. What's our hot calls, what to look for our hot. So it gives us plenty of time um, to work on all those things and to allow our, our starter and our backup, which is something as a coach, I gotta say, even as a head coach, I've been guilty. I haven't gotten our starting quarterback um, as many reps as sometimes that we need to. Um, and so that's kind of why I've gone to this where now with our team pass because, you know, I do believe in throwing the ball around a lot, making sure they get plenty of time in that. Um, and before, you know, we would go with 10 minutes and we would uh, only do um, the RPO drill for five minutes and then we would go inside run. Um, but then just we were getting a lot of run reps, which is great. You know, everybody likes to run the ball, but um, I realized that we weren't throwing as effective and efficient as we need to. So that's the adjustment. I mean, so this is the way we're doing things this year. So we're excited to, to get it going. And I really think that it flows really well uh, with, you know, starting with a tempo as a team, set off right, you know, break into your groups. When we work on our RPO and screen, uh, you get that 10 minutes. So now when you talk about Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, now once you add it up, we've worked our RPO um, screen and the match and the footwork for 30 minutes, you know, going into a game. We've worked on our team run now for another 30 minutes. We've done routes on air. All of our routes will be covered. We've done that for 30 minutes. Seven on seven, we've done 30 minutes, seven on seven, and then our team pass and screen and pass pro work on blitz is 45 minutes. You know, so we really believe that through these three days, it's super, you know, it flows well, it's organized. You should get plenty of reps. You know, if you're able to get, um, you know, three reps a minute, you know, you're talking about right there with, uh, you know, 90 something reps, almost 100 reps of, of your run game. Um, that's a, that's quite a few when you go into a game, you know, you're, you're looking at like, you know, 60, 70 reps. And if you break that in down, you know, 50, 50, whatever you get into it, you know, that's a really good job that you're probably working on that run play at least three to five times in just your team run. And, you know, and then you, in your team and then in your past, you've worked that concept, you know, and that variation, you know, five to 10 times, that's a lot to get you ready for that game. Um, and then you talk about Thursday's walkthrough and you're going through those plays again, you know, and then our, our scripted plays will run, you know, the first 10, 15, we'll run that three times throughout the week. And then on our walkthrough, we'll run it again. So it's four times. And then we'll run those plays in our team. So those plays are getting plenty of reps. Um, we, we realized that this was really, really good for us because before, you know, after we lost to Northmore last year when I was at Northwood, we did it to where we we're focusing on our openers and second down on Monday. Wednesday was, or Tuesday was our third down and Wednesday was red zone. And we just weren't as efficient with our plays and um, the memorization of the plays weren't there. And we just didn't feel like we were getting all of our plays that needed to, to be worked on. And, you know, it wasn't flowing as well. So we went to this air raid, back to the air raid schedule. Um, and like I said, that's why we call it the power, power raid. We matched it a little bit with, with a little bit of how teams that are power uh, run game emphasis with our air raid and kind of mixing it up. And so we really worked on that. So, Monday, as you see, uh, inside zone. Tuesday is going to be our power counter. And then Wednesday is buck for our run game. And then our quick game, one quick game a day is stick, snag, and then I consider shallow cross. And then we go with one drop back combination, though, on Monday with our four verts and wide cross. And then we'll go four verts and sail. And then obviously we drop back mesh. It takes a lot of time. 
Um, and then our screens, we try to work on two different screens a, a day. Um, and so then the other thing that will change sometimes is our pre-practice. Like on, uh, on Tuesday when we have snag, we're gonna work this triangle drill and our, um, and what we're gonna do with that triangle drill is for them to get in there uh, and they'll have somebody where they're reading and it's almost like the cell news says, hey, once that guy clears your face or if that guy stays out, that's where you settle, you settle down, you show hands and the quarterback will throw it to you. So with, you know, and that's, so that's one way that we work on our snap pre-practice and then the run at me drill is really good because over the head, it's right at me. So it works good with the snag, it works well with um, the vert. And then we also have, where we'll break off to the right, off to the left and then run down the line, which is good for sale. Whether you're catching up high or catching it low, depending on where the quarterback put it. Um, so that really works well for us uh, to get that. And then Wednesday, we spend the entire time on that mesh drill. Um, because if you don't work that mesh and they're communicating and, and they're reading the live bodies, then you know, you're know you not going to get any better at mesh. And mesh is super, you got to invest a lot into it. And so we do. And so that's what we do on our, on our Wednesday. And then obviously, the running backs and D line or O line, sorry about that. You know, we let them whatever whatever their position coaches, whatever they feel like they need to to get better on for that week or from the season or from whatever whatever they see for the day before. Boom, there's your pre practice. They know their coach will tell them before uh, practice what they need to do so they have you know all of the equipment uh, ready to go and they they'll know that as soon as they get their shoes on and they're ready to go, everybody has a job to do and nobody's just standing around. And that way you can be efficient. And then, like I said, we go an hour on offense, hour of defense, 10, 15 minutes special team. So we're hoping to get out of there, you know, get off that uh, practice field, you know, um, way less than two, two and a half hours. You know, usually it's about two hours, five minutes, two hours, 10 minutes um, at most. And so, uh, you know, that's the way I, I love to build depth. Um, so often all of our guys are learning offense and defense right now. They will throughout the summer. Um, and then. You know, the plan is, is once we have everybody ready to go, well, offense is going, defense will go, and then we'll actually add a little bit more time um, with our special teams, and then we'll also add a little bit more time on our our offense, and then what happen is offense and defense will both kind of get an hour and a half, and now you'll get a little bit more any time, so you won't have that pre-practice. Um, so you'll do an hour and a half offense and defense of, you know, being able to add that tempo, maybe a little bit longer walk through. Um, because they're practicing at the same time. And then that's where that note section for us is really good. Like, hey, if we have to go get so-and-so who's playing linebacker and he plays H-back for us, hey, we got to grab him during this period. Um, so hope you like the, like the, our layout of our practice. It works for us. Um, it, it's easy communication. Uh, like I said, next video is going to be how we script things based on what we our day one stuff. Um, and then also what we're seeing from our opponents and uh, watching film and all that. Um, so hopefully this gives you an idea because I know some people are in spring ball, some people aren't. It gives you an idea for summer. Um, you know, this is our in season one. Uh, the only thing that we change uh, when we're full strength uh, for summer and all that is we'll do our daily install on the whiteboard and then go out and we'll do it on air. And then we'll get into this practice plan. But hope everybody is enjoying their spring football. Um, I hope everybody's getting excited for, for summer. It means that football's here, the fall's coming. So coaches, uh, appreciate your time for watching this video. Hope you like it, subscribe to the channel, um, and let's continue to get better.